Waking up, waking up, you're paralyzed. Waking up, waking up, discover. It's not a king, but through the danger, a battle for your being. Hey everybody, Matt Bissonette here again. We're doing another video on the how to of making uh, our harmony sandwiches and our, our overall sound for the band Darwin. And I was asked to sing in this band. It's really, really great. I'm proud to be in it. And uh, today we're working on a song called Nightmare of My Dreams. And I remember kind of being assigned this song saying it's really a song again about light against darkness and a heavy sounding song that turns into a lighter sounding thing. And the choruses are real pretty and the harmonies and stuff. But the, co but the uh, verses and everything are they get into some screaming and some more violent kind of stuff, which isn't really my my windbag, but, I, but I'm but i learning to do new things and stretch myself out. So it's a learning process and, and uh, this song gets really heavy and there's some screaming going on and learning how to use mic techniques that doesn't peek out your microphone and compressors and stuff and it's all a learning thing. And that's the good thing about music is you'll, you'll never know it all and you're always learning. So uh, this song, Nightmare of My Dreams, I remember we wanted to do the same thing where the, the verses start out really mellow and tripled and a straight harmony, you know, without harmony, actually just a straight melody. And then later in the song, it builds into harmonies and harmonies. So what I'll do is I'll show you the first verse, how we do it. We layer it. We, uh, we're going to do one verse here and then I'm going to triple it and do it. And then we're going to put all the harmonies together and see kind of how this song works. Once again, it's a real trip on this song because it's highs and lows, and and emotionally you gotta you gotta really be in there and hang with the song. So, but one main thing I wanted to show you guys is that is really getting a good level of the track. One of the main things for me that I always struggle with is finding the perfect headphone level. I'm not gonna wear headphones now, but um, is having the the track in your headphones so that you don't have to, so loud that you don't have to scream too much, especially for these softer parts. So just finding that right level is really, really important, especially when there's different levels and different things going on. So here's the first verse, here we go. Come on. Close your eyes and take a breath, fall into eternal sleep. Look around, don't make a sound. Transportation, you strike a fist, punch through the membrane, and leave a lying down to rest. Nightmare of my dreams, nothing is as it seems. So basically, that one spot where I stop singing is a, a carryover line that we do on another track. Um, we do that a lot where vocals overlap. So you're gonna need a lot of tracks on your computer, especially for these harmony sandwiches because they're moving all over the place. All right, so once we've sung the mellow part of the verses, we double it and trip it like we always do, tune it up using Melodyne or Atari's or whatever we do. And then we kind of get into our, uh, let's put in the harmonies and all this stuff. So this is the, the first verse of Nightmare of My Dreams with the uh, vocals only. Here we go. It sounds exactly like this. Here's the lead. Close your eyes and take a breath. Fall into eternal sleep. Look around, don't make a So these are the, that's the carryover line that crosses over. So there's three of them. We got a little bit of reverb and delay on it just to see what it would sound like. So we're nice and uh, pretty there and then the harmonies come in. So this is the pretty part of the song. And then right at this point, it gets to the heavier part. But what we're doing a lot of is um, the basic melodies is pretty straight ahead. But when we're adding all these kind of angelic parts on top that kind of make it, uh, I like to, I let, it's the way I like to hear things is where there's busy stuff going on. And you may not hear it all in your head when you're listening to a record, but but I know it's there. And, and so does the band. So there, we win. Uh, anyway, but here's that chorus again 
with all these other parts. So here's all the harmonies together again. And you can hear the different parts and they do some counter punnel pot stuff. Yeah, counter punnel stuff. And that's one of the things that we're trying to do in Darwin is the, is the is the parts that are going off the main melodies. And that's the thing for me that's the most interesting about songs, pop songs, Beatles songs, and great bands always have a melody going on and then a harmony. But then there's other, there's other stuff going on, like, like uh, you know, the Beatles song, it's getting better all the time. And then John Lennon goes, it couldn't get much worse. That whole thing where they play off of each other. That's what we're trying to do a lot in this band is is having things going by and then you listen to it again and you go, oh, that is a pretty cool counter line. Sometimes the lyrics will change, sometimes they'll be the same, but we always try and keep it interesting. And at the end of the songs, we kind of explode the whole sandwich and, and everything comes out at the end. At least that's what we've been doing. It's kind of a gradual build up all the way to the end of this gigantic thing. So I'm gonna get into the heavy part right now and show you how we do that. All right, we've laid down the main melody. We did the pretty harmonies. We went, we cut and pasted certain sections and we've made all the harmonies kind of go to our uh, harmony sandwich again, a delicious sandwich. And uh, we're gonna catch the heavy parts of the song. And what that's gonna do is uh, burn out your voice. So you wanna do that later in the day after you've eaten your pancakes and uh, just kind of take a run at that at the end and let, let it all fly out. So here's the bridge section and the other chorus. Sounds like this. Waking up, waking up, you're paralyzed. Waking up, waking up, discover. Waking up, waking up, you're paralyzed. Waking up, waking up, discover. Stand the king, but through the danger, a battle for your being. Courageous old timeless emotions Carry over line Come on the forces through the twilight Together we conquer another boundary Okay, so You usually got to do those parts in sections or you'll blow your head out and you don't want to do that So we just keep the doing a certain section, punching it in, catching everything we can, everything that's good and punching in what is not good. Try and get a whole section at a time and then double that and triple that immediately so you sing it the same way. A lot of people, when they when they double and triple things, they'll uh, take an ear off their headphones or whatever. But the older I get, the more I kind of go, I'm, I, I think I know I'm, how I'm gonna sing this and I'm gonna sing it a certain way and I can, that's how I'm naturally doing it. So I just won't even listen to the double or triple and just sing it three times and then listen to them together to see if they match up. Hopefully they do. And then with a little bit of tuning and stuff, it usually kind of gets in the ballpark. But that's the heavy parts. And I guess the main thing is that, uh, is to have the headphones at the right level because you can be screaming your brains out and you do three takes and you're done for the day. And when you're singing, like when we do these songs in the studio, when we go to Simon's house, I'm usually there for 10 hours singing, you know, seven hours, you know, whatever. And you got to conserve your energy. So I would definitely recommend doing the heavy parts later in the day. All right. So we've kind of covered how we've worked on the vocals for the song Nightmare of My Dreams. And the main thing is about it, how it's darkness versus light and heavy music into light music. And that's kind of the sound that we're going for with the band is to have highs and lows and things just going all over the place. So thanks again for watching this video. My son's home and uh, everything is good. So we love you and thanks again for watching. <laughs>